Oh my gosh, how cute is this? After my customer Martha's grandmother passed, she found this picture of her grandma and her friends from their college days. <laughs> this photo just embodies platonic love and friendship, and I just love it so much. Thanks for the trust with this special piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, grandma. <laughs> and they were all roommates. <laughs> What's up, my beardless and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into r slash Sappho and her friend. That was, that was a voice crack, wasn't it? <laughs> all right. You know this one. Let's get started. <laughs> they weren't gay. They were homie erotic. <laughs> Pal sexual. <laughs> Lesbi friends. Oh, come on. <laughs> Circulating nurse. Miss or Mrs.? Hmm? Me. Oh, um, technically Mrs., but I prefer Miss. Her. I'm sure your husband would prefer Mrs. And writes Mrs. Me. Actually, my wife doesn't care for Mrs. either. So please correct it. <laughs> 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 Her shattered. <laughs> Piensen que somos amigos, pero somos una pareja gay. They think we're friends, but we're a gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> I love Duolingo sometimes. I don't love all of the emails bullying me, okay? I know I haven't done my homework in a while. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I'm busy. <sighs> Estoy muy ocupado. Lo siento. <laughs> Surprised my husband on my day off. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I don't care if it's staged. Oh, that's cute. I want to watch it again. Surprised my work husband on my day off. <laughs> ah! Hmm! <laughs> <laughs> it's the look at the end that does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they seem like such good friends. <laughs> Just saw a comment that Bond can never be played by a woman because then you couldn't have a Bond girl. I assure you, you can still have a Bond girl. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been outside? <laughs> hey! You are gay? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, comma! Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes or no? Space, question mark, question mark. <laughs> yes, I am gay. I am a lesbian. Why? <laughs> oh, fella. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? All lesbians are ugly, but you are cute. Oh, you have a fundamental misunderstanding of how people work. Oh, no. <laughs> Girls become lesbians just because no man like them. My dude, a cis man would f a rock if he could. Oh gosh. Y'all are pathetic. Lesbians are lesbians because they don't like men. Uh, uh. <laughs> My only hope when I read something like this is that this individual who you responded to can use this as a learning opportunity, a jumping off point to become the person that they should be instead of continuing to be this. <laughs> oh, what a mess. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to Hello. check in for uh, Michaela Castro. <laughs> oh. Looks like the room we have you in is a single king size bed. I can switch that for two queens if you oh. like. No, the king size. <laughs> separate checks. Uh, together, actually. Oh, you're together? Okay. <laughs> so, having a little ladies weekend? Um, yeah. Oh, so, you guys leave the husbands at home? <laughs> um, actually, the boys are waiting for us back at the hotel. <laughs> you know. Ah. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, God, drivers, they don't want to drive, I swear to God, man. Welcome to the spa, can I get your name? Michaela. Can I see that this is a couple's massage, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my cousin Tommy just came out as bisexual. Oh, I love gay people, I love Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh, that's fun, that's fun. I have a note, I have one note, okay? Forgive me, I have a note, at the very beginning. For, uh, Michaela Castro. Looks like the room we have you in is a single king size bed. I can switch that for two queens if you'd like. No, the king. You can ask for two king size beds and then push them together 
for a mega bed. <laughs> Life changing. <laughs> hey, um, Haruka, do you have a boyfriend? Actually, she has a cousin. Why can you vote this helpful? <laughs> what do you what? Okay, all right. Um What? <laughs> Me, date box. Aw, <laughs> surprise your best friend with a date night in a box. Oh, oh, <sighs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, you like what you like, right? <laughs> oh, sheesh. <laughs> A-I-T-A, A-I-T-A. Attack on Titan! <laughs> Those aren't the right letters. Okay, A-I-T-A for entering the bathroom when my daughter and her friend were showering. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Right off the title. That's an uh-oh. That's an uh-oh from me. Rating of one uh-oh so far, and the story hasn't even started. Okay. <laughs> My 41F daughter, 18F Jenny, has always been an introvert and a little lonely. She has always been happy, but has never had a lot of friends or a boyfriend. This year, she made a best friend on school. Same age as her, also female, Sarah. And they are together all the time. Sarah is always on our house, and I like her. She sleeps on Jenny's bed many nights. Uh oh. <laughs> they cook together. Jenny didn't used to cook before and go out a lot. Jenny never really used to go anywhere before. She was always at home. Jenny uses makeup and now wears Sarah's clothes. They also hold hands and hug a lot. Aw, which is unusual because Jenny never liked people touching her. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the signs. <laughs> I have always been very open with my daughter, and it is not weird for me to enter the bathroom when she is showering, but the other day I did it, and she told me to go out because Sarah was there. I didn't see why it was such a big deal. That's, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. All right. Nah, I think you're wrong. <laughs> you can't just, you can't, you can't just, you can't, what? Mm, no, if there's two people in there, don't do that. <laughs> but the other day I did it, and she told me to go out out because Sarah was there. I didn't see why it was such a big deal. I wasn't seeing her friend naked. She was behind the curtain. Also, Sarah didn't seem to care. She was laughing. Oh dear. Later, Jenny was mad at me and told me to no longer enter the bathroom like that. I think she is being dramatic because she has never had a problem with this before. I told her that I can't promise that. And then she called me a butthole. <laughs> Am I the butthole? Okay, that's what that stands. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're very much in the wrong here. Oh dear. If you're 18 female, okay, your kid's an adult. You can, you gotta you gotta respect their space. You can't just walk in on them in the shower. You gotta you gotta leave that behind. That's a thing you shouldn't do anymore. And especially respect the boundaries of their relationship. What the heck are you doing? Okay. My hope is that they posted this and then all of the comments said, "Yeah, don't do that anymore. Don't do that." Learning experience. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to bust out something we haven't done in quite a while. Official finger waggle of the channel for you. So, according to my mom's family, my Uncle Peter has just been living with his male roommate for 17 years. Ignorance is bliss, hey? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Archaeologists, when they find two female or two male skeletons posed as a couple. That's very interesting. Okay. But what do we do about the gays? I mean, how do we get rid of them? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is so funny. In my family, I have one, one lesbian cousin, and everyone calls her literal wife her friend. So I've started calling all my straight relative spouses their friends. <laughs> is Auntie Sue and her friend Jerry coming? <laughs> oh, Brian will be bringing his friend Sarah. <laughs> They've all been married my entire life, and it drives them insane. You are doing God's work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you're, do you're doing you're doing great. <laughs> My flatmate has just rocked in with two of the lesbianest lesbians I've ever seen and introduced them as my sister and my sister's roommate. <laughs> and they were roommates. <laughs> oh my God, they were roommates. <laughs> 
I have to tell you, back in the day when we started making these videos, it took me an embarrassingly long time to actually see the original clip. I think it's from Vine, where someone's walking by in the street and the guy overhearing the phone conversation hears her go, and they were roommates, and then goes, oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> Why did none of you tell me for so long? Summary of my first day at the inn. These two young women checked in, maybe mid-twenties. They're wearing matching wedding rings, and one of them had us print out a card to put on the one bed they're sharing. It says, Chris. Christine, hope your birthday is as special and as wonderful as you are. Now my boss keeps talking about what good pals they are, and I'm gonna break a rib internally laughing. <laughs> Should've got two king beds and pushed them together. Mega bed! <laughs> Wondering where I got my middle name from. Dad, you were named after your great great aunt May. Great great aunt May? Finds pictures of her. Makes realization. Joke wedding? Live with man-hating gal pals, never married, travel with close female friend. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> they swore too much, drank too much, and had <gasps> questionable morals. No wonder they were such good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Found this and thought it was quite fitting. Gal palification, what? When you make something inherently gay into something that's irritably straight. Oh, I like that it's underlined. Is that a link? <laughs> did you see what they did to fried green tomatoes? That's gal palification. Oh no, the movie. Irritably straight. <laughs> I like that phrase. I might use that. <laughs> Aw, take him on a date. But how? They're both men! Safal, they could be gay. Gay people exist, Safal! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ivy can't hurt me. She gave me a special shot once so we can play, and I won't get sick at all. Oh, you mean you two... What? Oh, y you and Ivy are... <laughs> well... <laughs> Friends. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> she referred to herself as pansexual, but only seemed to have dated men. Sure, Jan. <laughs> Your sexuality and those whom you are interested in are not determined by those who have dated thus far. You know... It is at this point that Anne's biographer breaks in to say that while absolutely everything Anne ever did makes her look like a huge lesbian, she cannot possibly have been because there is much debate as to the existence of lesbianism in 17th century England. Heck. Oh. <laughs> There is much debate both as to the existence of lesbianism in 17th century England and regarding the extent of awareness that women could sexually desire other women. According to the memoirs of the French <laughs> at the court of Charles II, they were simple enough never to have heard tell of such Grecian refinements in the art of love. However... <sighs> uh... Uh... Oh, there's Gil, Oscar's roommate. I wonder if he knows. Michael's arc, as he tries so desperately to support those around him that he cares about, is... Do you like The Office? I really like The Office. Can you believe that there are plants that are illegal? Plants! Can you believe there is love that is illegal? Love. Can you believe it's not butter? Butter! <laughs> the fact that Tumblr can fit weed beast I and dairy products into one post doesn't even phase me anymore. Whoa! <laughs> I really don't think they meant bestiality. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, they might not have. But did you? At least once a month, I think about the girl from my high school AP psych class who was like, We shouldn't allow gay people to get married because then all of the girls would want to marry a girl and the population would all die out. Because we would all want to marry girls. Uh, right? 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 <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Alright, my bitters and weirdos, that was our dive into r slash Sappho and her friend. <laughs> Thank you again for requesting the subreddit. I really appreciate that so many of you enjoy the same ones that I do and enjoy looking at the same memes that I do. Please let me know if you do have another one that you'd like to see me cover soon, because I'm really enjoying hearing from all of you. In the last video, we had like a, a, a million, what, exactly one million people respond and say what Halloween costumes all of you were wearing, and that was 
amazing to see. I love that. Thank you all so much for writing back to me. I went through and I read through as many of them as I could. There were so many good ones. If you're looking for a good Halloween costume, definitely look at the last video because the comments on that one, there's more than one person dressing as a bee. Speaking of a million, if we, I will hold up to my promise. If we reach 1 million subscribers, it's too many people. <laughs> I will dress in a suit of armor and hold a sword above my head and do a photo shoot. How about, how about that? I haven't decided what other things I could do, but like, <laughs> it's a good start, right? <laughs> all right, my and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one. I love you all. All right, see you in the next one. Where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro.